In today's video, we're going to be testing four new cameras from Cadex. We're going to test the all new Ant Nano for latency. Also, their Nebula, which is a pretty interesting one. It has a weird use case, but we'll get into that in a little bit. The Loris, which is a split type of camera, which records 4K. And also the all new Rattel Mini. So we're not going to be doing any video comparisons because I've gotten way too many cameras. All I'm going to be doing is the latency testing and hopefully that helps out and eventually I'll probably end up putting some of these on a build and we'll take it from there. So with that being said, let's get started. PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product PCB way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the Ant Micro. This is by far one of the tiniest cameras I have ever seen ever period. It is unbelievably light, unbelievably tiny. And the latency is actually quite good here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's so freaking tiny. Look at this. It's like, it's it's really small. I mean, I, I don't know how to compare it to something. Uh, we'll compare it against the mini in a bit here. So for example, here's a run cam. Yeah, run cam uh, split. You can see how tiny this thing is. Not even a quarter. So this thing is really, really tiny and that's its main selling point here. And now if we take a look at some of the accessories they do provide us, they do give us the connector we're going to need and you probably have to cut that in half so you'll end up with two wires, which is really nice. You also get the remote and also the wire for the remote or the OSD remote here. And you get an adapter from, I think, a nano to a micro. This So for latency, this thing was uh, very consistent, which is not the case with many cameras out there. And I think Cadex was one of the first ever fastest cameras I've ever tested. That was a while ago with their micro, I think, F1 cameras. And here they managed to actually do it again. We got for latency is we got a pretty stable 1.2 milliseconds with an LED turning on. So it's in a black box and LED turns on and we measure the difference in which was 1.2 milliseconds stable. So that is really great, especially for proximity flying. This thing is going to be really great. Now video quality I have not tested and I'm not going to be able to answer that. Now for the LED turning off, usually we do have an increase in latency on every single camera I've ever tested and the increase goes up to 4 milliseconds. So you can say the overall latency is going to be anywhere between 1.2 to 4 milliseconds, which is in the golden zone. This is the type of cameras you would preferably want to place. Now it comes down also to the video quality, but in terms of latency, the lower the better, the more you be the better you'll be able to fly. Because for example, the HDO latency is around 15 milliseconds, if I remember correctly, I've tested that before. So in terms of latency, huge thumbs up for the Ant here. Next down the line, we have the Nebula Mini HD FPV camera. Now this is a, I don't know, it's, it's a really crazy use case for this one, in my opinion. And, and the reason for that is, is because you can, it's it's meant for a Cadex Vista, as far as I believe, Cadex Vista. And you can also output the analog footage here. So, but you can't really place a, a 5.8 gigahertz along with the DJI setup or you'll get some really bad connections unless you do some super, you know, like a 1.2 gigahertz video transmitter that might be okay with the 2.4 gigahertz that's coming out of the DJI setup. So it has an interesting use case in my opinion. I still don't know what you would use this for. Um, and yeah, I would be very curious to know your thoughts on that, but it's nice. It gives you the best of both worlds, I guess, if you had, if you wanted to switch between them. So that's kind of interesting here. Now the latency here, um, is not going to be disappointing, which is again, is really, really nice. So the latency here, what we're looking at at this one, well, at least from the analog perspective is 2.02 .02 milliseconds with the LED turning on. And again, this is a mini here. And uh, for the LED turning off, I got 4.7 milliseconds, pretty consistent, plus minus 0.2 of a millisecond. So they are really consistent and they're really great in terms of latency, which is a really nice thing. And as you can tell, the wire for the Cadex is pretty long. So the length of this is around 11 centimeters, which is pretty good. And uh, you could do a plus or a minus a uh, couple millimeters here and there because I didn't stretch it all the way. So it should theoretically fit most frames out there. Now, if we take a look at some of the accessories they do provide us with, basically just the analog, some screws in the remote, just you know, just like any other camera, really. Uh, there is no adapter, for example, to make it uh, a bit larger here. And for the cover, the lens cover, you just get a plastic one. 
like you usually get with the uh, uh, DJI stuff here. So we're just going to go ahead and place that away. So in terms of latency, this one is good in terms of the analog latency. So that's always a, a huge benefit here. So it's, it's pretty interesting and very weird at the same time for me. So for example, like when I first got this, I thought it would be for like their, you know, their split type of cameras, because that would make sense because for example, you don't want to go through the, the main board that's recording because you, you get you get introduced some latency. Um, but yeah, it's going for the DJI system. So yeah, you could, I'm very curious what you would use it for. So let me know down in the comment section. Next down the line here, we have the Cadex Loris. This is their split camera. And this is a 4K split camera, which I will be putting on a build. They actually sent me three by accident, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting this on a build. I do, however, wish this was a lot longer because it's not gonna go on the one where I really wanted it to go. It is a 20 by 20 millimeter board, so the mounting hole is 20 by 20. The holes here are two millimeters thick, and um, that's really it. You have your OSD remote, which is provided, and you also have your connector, which makes it really easy. And this is a nano size here. And if we go in to the extra accessories, uh, we just have a we just have a board I think that changes the size from 20 by 20 to 30 by 30 and some screws and you got your OSD and you actually also have an adapter that switches the size or increases the size from a micro up to a mini here and you also have some tools so that's really nice that they provide all these things for you now let's discuss the latency here because the latency is going to be one of the most important things on this and was kind of a letdown to be honest so it wasn't very consistent but the latency on the Loris here was 33 to 43 milliseconds, which is quite a long time. Uh, hopefully the video quality will make up for that, but I am I don't know how the video quality is just yet. So yeah, with the LED turning on, 33 to 43 milliseconds, and with the LED turning off, it was roughly 38 to 47 milliseconds. Kind of painful to say, but yeah, that's what you could expect with this. Also, the new run cams, I think, are in the same range. I forgot to have them somewhere here, but we're going to cover those later on. Now we have one more camera here, which is the Cadex Retail Mini. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. It's a pretty big guy, actually. So you get the remote, you get the tool, you get two wires, and you get some screws, which is plenty enough here. Now let's go ahead and discuss its overall latency. Now, to be honest, I was expecting a much better latency here, but maybe the video quality is really great. But when you think about it, the latency is acceptable, kind of, because if you factor in like an HDO latency, which is around 15 millisecond, this one comes up to 18 milliseconds of latency. Uh, pretty static, actually, pretty consistent in the 18 millisecond mark. And uh, with the LED turning off, obviously, always the latency does increase. We had uh, 28 to 29 milliseconds. So you could subtract the offset of an HDO, which is around 15 milliseconds or so. Um, so you get roughly around three milliseconds of latency in a way, I think, yeah. But again, Cadex has been doing some pretty decent products actually, and reasonably, reasonably priced as well, uh, which helps a lot of people actually get to use these cameras and it drops the overall price off of some of the pre-built quadcopters right now, which again is really, really nice. And uh, hopefully Cadex keeps trying to innovate and dropping that latency like they usually do. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything here is linked down below. If you can check those out, there's a great support channel. Come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways and you get access to my AI software for Betaflight where it replaces the PID controller if you've missed that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.